Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Big shout out, by the way, to everybody watching over on YouTube with our man T.D. Barrett once again, hyping the crowd up, hosting our YouTube chat. Shout out to T.D. Barrett. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel or any of the content he puts out, make sure you do. Uh, and big shout out to everybody here on Twitch. You guys have been awesome all weekend long. We almost have our first champion of the year, John Beast on offense. Uh, first, you know, I talked with John Beast last night, Ty, and, and I love his mentality. Remember, he made his first major last year. That was his first major. He's already made 83000 and change in the MCS. And, and talking with him last night, he said, listen, I'm not even thinking about the belt. I'm taking this one game at a time. Yeah, he has grown so much in these last few years, especially obviously in the last year where he's really found so much success for himself. He's matured as we've seen him play. You know, he would get real emotional. He would say a lot. He's kind of calmed down. And also, can we talk about the swagger that John Beast has brought to the party today? He's got the hoodie on. He's got the chain hanging. I mean, he came looking like a professional. There it is. Look at that. Got the chain, the hoodie, the green hoodie. It is fire. I love it. He's looking the part. Now let's see if he can play the part. How about the read option? Came in with Daniel Jones. What a call from John Beast as he'll take 13 yards. Danny Dimes with the keeper. Getting sticky too with Daniel Jones back there. A little, a little hesitation move, cutting right back to the left. I like it, and that's the thing too. He's trying to catch ice a little bit off guard. These guys know what each other wants to do out of this gun. Both guys are gonna be running that gun bunch formation. You see ice in that 3-3-5 wide. So John Beast trying to catch him a little bit off guard with that read option. I like the play call. And back to work with Reggie Bush goes John Beast. And you know, it, it's this is one of those things, and, and you talk about what makes a great Madden player. You know, you can have all the talent in the world, but but John Beast is one of those guys that not only is a talented Madden player, but this is somebody who has put in the hours. He was labbing and playing as many games as he could coming into this tournament, and it's showing on the on the virtual gridiron at how much he has improved as a player. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, I'm sure, you know, user can speak on it too, but they were, uh, John Beast was up late at night labbing with the guys, Skimbo, Clef, getting those reps in. John Beast has really dedicated himself to this craft, and you can't ask for anything more. When you put in the work and you see the results as John Beast is, it's a beautiful feeling. And a great drive so far, already in the red zone. Come on, go get him, Montez. Come on. Montez Sweat. This item, not the most not the most highly rated item. You're not looking at something that's 90 plus. I believe he's only an 82 overall. But the speed that he brings on the interior creates a problem as these offensive lines try to hang on to these blocks. And speed is always one of the most important things when it comes to Madden. Uh, in every mode, no matter the mode, it, speed is always the most important at every position as well. Looks like John on that play had the backside dig coming free over the middle but Ice recognized it, kind of got over there with his user, and John was forced to take the sack. No panic from the Hartford, Connecticut native, though. Flips the running back to the right side. And he's got a lot of room out there for Daniel Jones. He's got all sorts of room. He'll get 14 yards. And you talk about the path, the, the, the road to the Madden 22 kickoff. Those last three games, John Beast had to go through on PS5. Mills, free the Penguins, in Toxic 8. Those are three club champions, or three three club champions, uh, uh, championship participated. In Toxic 8, finished second in that Browns club, but made the Madden Bowl later on that year. Free the Penguins, a Cardinals club champion. Mills, a Texans club champion. What a path, what a final gauntlet for John Beast. Mont Great path, Apple, let's Apple. not forget. Come on, go for it. As you see, Ice getting fired up, and John's going to go with tempo here to try to convert. Big play in the game. He's going to call timeout. But, Nick, to your point, don't forget those three guys, of course. And then yesterday, he hey, took out the number one ranked Madden player in the world, Drini Joka. So, John Beast, he is battle-tested, no doubt about it. I know it. I know it. Look at him pondering what he wants to do. Fourth and one. Ty, are you going for it in this situation? I think you have to. Madden 22, this is a situation you go for it. Set the tone. You are John Beast. You are here. You want to go to the finals. Come out. Punch this thing over for the, at least a yard and get closer to that end zone. Big play Fourth in the game for both guys. Need it. Stand up for your boy. Can John Beast find the end zone? Got He's got some room. Backside. Wow. He's got him. Fourth and one. An absolutely beautiful route combination. And Beast needed one. He picked up six. 
Absolute laser from Beast. One of the best red zone route combinations you can have. Backside, he had a little smoke screen. The flat defender came onto it. Behind that, a smart route, a deep in route. Getting to the back of the end zone, John Beast fires it in there. Excellent play call in a critical situation. 7-0, our score. Well, we talk about John Beast a lot, but let's give ice his due. George Schwartz, 22 years old from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. 42,000 a career earnings. He's a three-time New York Jets Club champion. Uh, and now he, he's an eSports on eSports scholarship at Northwood University. Uh, Ice, one of those consistent players, has been in that Jets club for a long time. Let's take a look at his offense, what he's going to bring out. This was a guy who really attacked those seams against the cover two looks yesterday, and he did it with Devin Hester, with Joey Galloway and Roy Williams. Uh, but look out, he's got a stacked halfback crew. Yeah, he does. Look at those there. Reggie Bush, LaDainian Tomlinson, Saquon Barkley. But Ice is one of the most prolific offensive talents we have in Madden. He's going to look to air it out out of the gun bunch. He's going to use those receivers as well. But those running backs out of the back are also going to be a critical part of his offense. Two post-ups on the O-line. This is the defense that John Beat's going to do uh, use to stop. Interesting, he's got Brian Dawkins. We've seen him at strong safety for a lot of these guys. He's got Brian Dawkins at third cornerback. Yeah, he does. Interesting way he kind of set his depth chart there. But John Beast, we saw yesterday, he actually bagged Drini. Like, he played phenomenal defense on Drini. And he's got some great cards to do it here again. Of course, usering that Cam Chancellor over the middle with Acrobat. Second down and six over the middle. Ice just seems to be on a different level right now. Beast getting a lot of love on Twitter. Big personality, but... I should not be overlooked by anybody out there. This is somebody who has not only consistently been good in the clubs, but he's got one of the biggest personalities out there. Oh, yeah, he does. He has a lot of swagger, a lot of confidence. And, and the thing with Ice, too, let's not let's not forget yesterday in his interview, you know, he said that he didn't expect the defense that Henry was going to run on him. And he brought that blitz off the edge that he just didn't expect. But Ice adjusted on the fly, kind of made a lot of adjustments to step up in the pocket, hit those seam streaks. So this is a kid that when, you know, when he sees something he doesn't expect, he can adjust, he can make the proper changes to his offense. And I did that yesterday to put him in the Final Four. And he's doing that here so far on this first drive. Plus, he grew out the, the mop, coming in with a little hairstyle, didn't want to be compared to Sid from Toy Story anymore, and he's in the Final Four here in the Ultimate Kickoff. <laughs> Sid from Toy Story. <laughs> What'd you say yesterday? He's a mix of Spoto and he Canes? looks like, he, Yeah, he looks like if Canes and Spoto sort of morphed into one. Like, he looks like a young <laughs> Canes, but like with that, that Spoto intensity. No, I see it. it that is good. That is really good. <laughs> Third down, nice throw to the outside. Had a flat out there and Ice had a small window to fit that one in, but was able to deliver a strike. Using that backfield master, one of the best abilities you can put on your running back. He's gonna get some, he's gonna get extra hot roads out of there. He's gonna get better catching, especially against linebackers and safeties. You see that Reggie Bush lighting up for Ice's offense. Let's go to the second quarter, seven nothing. John Beast on top, and we mentioned it le yesterday, but Ice, he had a gauntlet to go through to get here. He had the double buy over on the Xbox side, and then he had to take down a guy by the name of Michael Skimbo in the uh, in the fifth round of single elimination, and that game was an absolute hellacious date. Look at left side, he's got Devin Hester inside the 10-yard line, able to take down Skimbo, and then he had to go face a guy in two tenacious, one of the best game planners out there. Yeah, a tough road again for Ice, too. Him and Skimbo have one of those rivalries that they always seem to match up. He was able to it's beat the, him. It's the, the AFC course. East guys in the, in the club. Yeah, clock. yep, the AFC East. And what a great play right there. Has that Devin Hester who he put Slot Apprentice on there. This time goes to a bubble screen uh -oh. out of the spread. Uh -oh. What a play. Waller. What was the, it absolutely looked like a Denny's out there with the pancake on the edge. And Darren Waller finds the end zone. What a play call. I think that's the first RPO bubble screen we've seen all tournament. Ice goes to it in the red zone. That's a great decision. It can be difficult to score down there. Spread the defense out. Get it out to your playmakers. Gets it up there to Waller. Able to kind of run in there. John Wall, uh, John Beast with some bad uh, defensive stick, and Ice punches it in. Take a look one more time at the play that set this all up. A little crossing route to Devin Hester. Gets inside the red zone. The speedster. Hester finding his way to the 10-yard line. Look at those last three games. Uh, just in case anyone's wondering, uh, those three players that he beat coming in, 
uh, just a combined five belts between the three of them. And probably a combined over, what, $500,000 in winnings? Yeah. I mean, and if, so if you throw me in there, it's another five belt. It's still five belts. It's still $500,000 <laughs> in winnings, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love the route combo Ice went through that we showed in the replay. Motioned over that crossing route yeah, with with that route apprentice ability. You're able to you know add some extra hot routes. That's what he did there with Hester. Put him on a crosser, motioned him over, got right behind the defense for a big play. It's interesting. SJ Ice said in his win, he said he had to overcome some of those pregame jitters. Doesn't look nervous here today. Looks confident as John Beast, little corner route. That's George Kittle out of bounds at the 38. Goes to that bench pivot play. One of the best plays you can run in bunch. The tight end's on kind of a sharp cutting corner route. Of course, he has Kittle there who uh, can light up with those abilities. He's able to get to the sidelines behind the defense. Great play call from the Beast. And, and Ty, let me ask you, you know, we see it all on Twitter. We see you guys in the chat. Everybody's going, well, everyone's running bunch right now. What makes bunch so difficult to defend? Yeah, there's a couple of different things. The first one I would say is you're able to attack all levels of the defense. You can you can use flood concepts, mesh concepts. You can put crossers in there, and you can utilize motion as well, which you see the beast doing. And if it's man or zone, you know they'll kind of run into each other. If it's man, you can create some man beating concepts. Zone, you can kind of flood the sidelines. You can create you know high low reads. So many different elements of route combinations. And then the second part of it is to me, bunch just has the best plays in the game, right? I mean. The routes that are stock in the game, uh, like plays like double post and verticals and mesh post, all these type of plays, you can't really find these type of great routes in other formations. And then, of course, you add in the abilities, you add in the masterminds of these guys preparing their offenses, getting those lab hours in in practice mode, and it just creates so much havoc for the defense to defend. Two-minute warning. It's John Beast on the drive, 7-7 seven, seven your score. Cleft the God waiting in the wings. As B stepping up, great defense there from Ice, but there's a lot of room up the middle, and he's going to take off, slide under the tackle. Ty, who would you rather be here? Would you rather be Cleft the God, who got to play his game first and now gets to watch this one, or would you rather be one of these two who's going to win a game and get to stay in a little more of a Madden rhythm, not have that huge break in between games? I think it's got to be Clef here. He doesn't care about rhythm. This guy's been battle tested. He's been around the block. He wants that extra time to watch this game, maybe even get into practice mode if he has a little bit of time here to lab some things out, really solidify his game for the final. So I think Clef has a little bit of the advantage. But to your point, yeah, and you see Clef there, he's watching this game closely. He is studying these opponents right now, really getting a kind of getting a game plan in his mind of what he wants to do on offense and defense. But to your point, too, the momentum is also important for both of these guys. If you can win this big game, you're riding a nice wave going into that finals. Come on, oh! That out route, wow, what a throw! Wow. What a catch! Touchdown for John Beast oh, out route, wow. right across the face of the defender, and the Beast will take the lead. Little toe drag swag, too. John Beast high pass that, of course, with the left bumper right there. That was nice, a real rollout, flood concept, smart route, and out route to the pylon. And then he gets the feet down. Great play call. Take a look at this one more time. Just rolls out with Danny Dodge. Delivers a laser right across the face of the defender. That's a tight window throw, TD. Yeah, high, po uh, high pointed it. Able to catch it with an aggressive catch. Get the feet down. Ice was very upset that he got his feet down. A little bit of a risky pass there. But John Beach trusting the height of that slot receiver and he able to convert. So now a big drive for Ice here. He's used all his timeouts, but there's plenty of time. We know how prolific he is. Got to go down and tie this thing up. Roy Williams with a big catch. Had to highball that one. You saw those two zones underneath on the right side. I think if he bullet past that one, that might get lurked. His left side, Reggie Bush with the catch oh. for Ice. For both these guys, I mean, again, John Beast has been here before. He has that Final Four experience from the clubs. Ice... This is his best finish in a major. There's got to be a little bit of a feeling out of the emotions, the adrenaline right now, knowing you're two wins away from a belt. No doubt about it. This is Ice's biggest game of his life right here. And he hasn't looked too frazzled, though, especially on offense. I mean, he's dialed in seven for eight. He's taken what the defense gives him, not trying to do too much. And if you're if, if you're beast, though, you're okay with giving up the stuff. The clock is going to work against Ice. You don't want to give up any free big plays if you're John Beast. Okay, guys, we got 
giveaways coming up. Halftime, we're not giving away one. Oh. We're giving away two Mott items coming up at halftime. I got to make sure I get in the chat and uh, get active and make sure that I'm in there because uh, they call my name. I got a couple lurks out there, TD. I don't know about you, but I I'm ready to snag one of those giveaways. Yo, me too. And why am I not surprised you got a couple lurks? We know you'll be in the chat trying to get one of these giveaways. Uh huh. Uh, my, my lurks names are uh, uh, Mick Nizesco, uh, Dyler Tavis, and one biased user. Those are my three lurks in the chat. Look, <laughs> tag me. <laughs> lurk. I. I don't know if you had to throw lurk up there. Great job. 10 out of Great 10. Job, Good humor to the guys in the back. Cheers. Great job. Cheers. Shout out to the production crew. Great <laughs> job. Oh, God. 23 seconds, no timeouts for Ice. Certainly look at, make sure he gets points out of this drive. I needs another 13 yards. Oh. Thank you, thank you. That should have really happened. feet and like, bounce on the sidelines. Like, thank you. Man. Like, why am I flat going up? Like, no, thank you. Literally, thank you. Thank you. Thank I, I want to like, talk about the stick like, work oh that John Beach is showing, though. He's actually, he's clicking off. To, to fake to ice that he's going to come at the quarterback. Then he clicks back on to try to get like some glitchy user pick. John Beast's stick is on another level right now. We saw it yesterday with that one of those best lurks we've ever seen. And right there, he's really kind of messing with ice. And now if you're ice, this is a no-win situation right here. you got to be very careful. I would even think about maybe punting the ball, and he's getting the squigglies. you got to be thinking about punting the ball here because you if you get sacked or you turn the ball over, John Beast has a chance at more points. M factor so important here. Screamed at him! Absolute screamer, eight seconds. He's got a timeout in his pocket. Beast can put a field goal on the board or more here and go up by double digits. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If you're ice, John Beast just needs a quick dot over the middle for about eight yards, and he's in field goal range to put, make this a two possession game. Fumble for six. Go get it. Uh oh, it's a fumble. Uh oh. One second left, a turnover from John Beast. We all know if there's time on the clock, there's an opportunity for a big play. Definitely an opportunity for a big play here. Look for him to go deep to maybe Hester or Galloway. Very fortunate, though, if you're ice. But he got himself a defensive stand, so that was big for him. Just throw this one up, see if he can't get some sticky work here as Bush will be tackled. And it will be 14 to 7 at the half tie. You know, we talk about those games that are close going into halftime, how it could go either way. Oh my god, that's uh, so huge. John Beast looked a little smoother offensively than Ice did. Yeah, especially oh, right there, that last uh, the, the last possession for Ice didn't look great. But honestly, this game is really still even. I don't think we're any closer to finding out who the winner's gonna be, especially because Ice gets the ball coming out in the second half. He'll be one of the fastest receivers in the game in Ultimate Team. And don't forget about that 91 deep route running. Pair him with Galloway and Hester. You've got a speed demon offense out there. By the way, here's all I'm saying. Uh, OJA Juice Man, you got that Jadavian Clowney. Hit me up in, uh, hit me up on Twitch, on Twitter. Pass me that Jadavian Clowney. I need my Browns theme team to get a little better. That Clowney's a beast. I, what, a, what a combo you guys got, huh? Him and Garrett on the outsides. Yeah. Still 14 lose to Jeep, 7. That's fine. All right, settle down. <laughs> Week one. Week one. Listen, Chad Henney is obviously better than Patrick Mahomes. That's why we lost to Chad Henney. <laughs> oh, boy. Damn. That hurt me so much to say because not only did he beat us, but he was also a Michigan player, so that hurts. True. Very true. <laughs> double whammy. It's a double whammy. Do we have a one of those uh, little those little uh, tombstones to throw up for double whammy? Can we can we throw that up there? <laughs> this lies in these baby out routes. We're talking about how good those those running back routes, the flat routes are. Interesting this year, it's not really the flat routes, it's the out routes from those halfbacks that are just so tough to stop. Yeah, those outs and the in routes too. You know, those out routes they're gonna get kind of underneath the zones. They're gonna get underneath the flats. You maybe have a Here route behind it, you know, like a C route or a corner route and it really gets underneath the defenses. Then if it's man coverage, well, a lot of these linebackers and safeties, they just can't stay with those sharp cutting out routes from the running back. Ice on second down, he'll look underneath again, and Ice is very comfortable taking it five yards at a time. Look at that, 14 and 19 for 140 with Danny Dimes. Uh, this is Ice 
being incredibly methodical, knowing that one mistake, that's your ball game. Yeah, he's really settled in here. Perfect example, he went right back to that halfback in route, got underneath the zones. Might go to the out route here, he does. See how the Good zone, back. it gets outside of the, the, the underneath zones there. Oh. He's able to get that toe drag swag, pick up a nice first down. And Ice, like you said, he's moving really methodically here. He's kind of controlling the game, slowing it down, thinking about what he wants to do when he gets to the line. Then he makes the proper hot routes uh, for his correct play. At the throw oh, oh look at right. Oh, I thought I was getting and sacked, I just threw it So away. he threw the ball Ooh. away because he was getting sacked. And the way the animation worked, it threw it towards the receiver who was pretty wide open, TD. That was so interesting. It was a Tampa 2 defense from John, and he had room to the outside of the safety, and he just threw it away, but it could have been a touchdown. Right side. Oh, Acro going crazy, but he didn't get the feed in bounds. Beast, and look at that. Last year, that that moment, John Beast would have lost his mind, but here, he calm, he's cool, he's collected. Such a good point. John Beast was jumping out of his seat last year, saying things going crazy. This year, should could have just had a pick, doesn't say anything. He's calm, cool, he's locked in, and you cannot test those acrobats here in Madden 22. I said his goal for the MCS in 22, he just wants to win the whole thing here in the ultimate kickoff. Wants to qualify for that Madden Bowl. 1,500 points goes to the belt winner. Tie a virtual lock. And you want to be in that Madden Bowl, the largest prize pool in history for the Madden Bowl. Of course, $250,000. 250000 wow, as Yuzu mm. would say, uh, for that first place Stop, prize that, last Ty. event Leave of the year. Leave that to Yuzu. <laughs> no, that. Leave that to Yuzu. Yuzu, I'd like to apologize uh. for Ty trying to take the thing. Oh, wow. But yeah, you guys, you definitely want to try to qualify for that event. And more than the money, the, these points are super important so you can get to that event. Big play in the game here for Ice. He's out of field goal range. He has to go for it. And he gets it. Oh. A beam. You know what he said? He's, we asked Ice if this game fits his strength. And he said, yeah, as a good offensive player, I can give up a lot of points to whoever. But as long as I get one stop, I'm almost guaranteed to win any game. This game favors the offensive player. We've seen here on, especially because we're playing on all Madden here in the ultimate kickoff, oh, defense has actually been a bigger here, problem and a bigger uh, uh, factor than we maybe have seen in those all pro weekend leagues. Yeah, those, the, the modes between all pro and all Madden are completely different here. Defense, the zones do play a little bit better on all Madden. Bubble. Ice going back to that bubble. Had success with it earlier. And the thing that I love about Ice, too, is he knows his style. He knows his game. He knows he's not an, a defensive player. He's an offensive player. He's sticking to his strengths. He knows that he can score with the best of them. It's just about, for him, it's just trying to get one or two stops in a game. TNC might stand for totally nonsense calls as he's breaking out bubble screens. He's going to different formations. This isn't a meta <laughs> offense here inside the goal line. Beast looking for a stop. Ice has used almost this entire quarter. Second down and goal. And he'll hand it to his favorite NFL player, Derrick Henry, but Henry stopped in the backfield. Beast, great run defense. You saw there John Beast kind of aligned his defense correctly to guard that bubble screen. So Ice audible down to an inside zone, trying to catch him a little bit off guard there, but nothing doing. And he's going to go back to this gun bunch. Look for maybe that uh, slot receiver on an out route here, maybe a running back wheel as we get closer to the red zone. Very difficult to score down here. They're down a goal. The running back out route isn't there. <laughs> oh, it might be there, but he's only going to get two. I thought he had some routes open back of the end zone. Fourth and goal for Ice, and he's going to settle for three. That's a win for John Beast. It is. You see Ice kick it, getting this kickoff really fast before the end of the third quarter. I like that. It was decision time there for Ice, but he does the, the smart thing, kicking his field goal. But if you're John Beast, you are feeling good. 14 to 10. One quarter to play between the two underdogs. Who will take on Left the God in our final? It's time for our fourth quarter. It's presented by Snickers. Snickers satisfied. 14 to 10. John Beast with the lead and with the ball. And I know the Need It boys at home. I know our Need It man in the, uh, the halftime booth. I know they're all saying, so, if you told John there. Beast at the end of this game, you would have the ball in the fourth quarter up by four. That's their ideal situation. Of course, they would take that 100 out of 100 times. This, we're getting to that fourth quarter time now. This is where the big boys step up. For John Beast, this is your potential put-away drive. If you can go down and get seven, 
make this two possession game, you're gonna make it very difficult on ice. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Remember, John B said yesterday, I'm gonna win that belt tomorrow. He is four minutes and 30 seconds what? away, but Ice bringing some defense. Oh, that could have been a fumble. Thank Ice you. can't believe Daniel Jones held on to that. Ice dials it up, 3-3-5 wide. He brings both linebackers off the edge. He audibled over from 3-3-5 normal to get some safeties there. You see it there, he audibles from the 3-3-5 normal to 3-3-5 wide. I would have said a little, another, another thing of pressure here, but he's gonna go coverage. I wondered if he was gonna send the heat. Instead, he drops back and covers back across his body. What a laser from John Beast! He found Kittle on the backside and picks up a huge first down. John Beast getting a little bit That's risky right beautiful. there. But he had the delay fade at the last second, waited for him to get deep down the field, and he converts, and that's a heartbreaker for Ice. You wonder about the defensive call there, Ty. He dropped back in the cover. That We're pressure gonna worked so We're good get. on first and second down, but he got conservative on third down, and John Beast took advantage. Yeah, you got to think maybe should have dialed it up again. Put that pressure on Beast to make something happen on third and long there. But John Beast, man, the kid just comes up clutch every time he's needed so far in his Madden oh. career. He's done it. He did it again there. Snap that really quickly, like the look he got, and he's able mm. to find Williams out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So maybe a little uh, a mistake there with the clock, but picks up a first down. Trying to catch ice off guard, but this is the time now where I expect an inside zone here. Yeah, he's going to try to use some of this clock. Oh. Really slow it down here. Try to get this under the two minute warning. If you get another first down, you start to get Ice to use his timeouts. And that's the situation you want to be in if you're John. Jones has Gambler activated, 236. And counting here in our second semifinal. Cleft the God waited for the winner of this oh. game for a chance at a belt. Two good defensive plays there. Beast will be able to take this to the two-minute warning. Ty, the biggest third down of both these players' Madden careers is coming up. An excellent clock management by John Beast. He waited for the, for the play clock to get down to one second to hike it so that the game clock would be under 2.30 and he could take this to the two-minute warning. So I am just so impressed at the maturity, at the growth of John Beast. He's really learned how to manage the game, manage the clock well, and like you said, biggest play of the game for both these guys' man careers right here, right now. See what the chess match is. It's a quick snap, quick pass here from John Beast. Might have had him open left, might have had him open right, might have Kittle down the field. A dangerous throw and double coverage. Beast just threw it up there. His tournament life on the line and could have made a major mistake. He had a guy wide open on the left side on the drag route and he just missed it. He rolled out and threw it up and he's going to go for this. I think he's in field goal range, but he's going to go for it right here. John Beast showing the cojones, trying to win it, trying to go to the finals. Can Ice freeze John Beast here on fourth and six? Hester motions from right to left. Jones back to pass, waiting, in trouble. Left side, he's got the no! hit. And a fist bump from John Beast as he knows he's closing in on a spot in a belt game. The kid is absolutely clutch. Just a basic curl route. Sits in front of the defender to the backside. John Beast, he's done it time and time again now. Once again, he's clutch, but there is still time here for Ice. Plenty, Plenty of, time. of time here. You cannot give up another first down, though. Can't give up a first down, but a field goal keeps Ice in this game down by four. You know those TNC guys have him labbed up with some defense. Chompy's going to the air, throws to the flat. Kittle cuts inside. Kittle with the first down. John Beast has a date with Clef the God in the wings. Ice has taken the headphones off. The Needed Crew changed the ultimate kickoff to the Needed Tournament. The Beast has been unleashed again. He's going to his first ever championship game in the MCS. What a journey this young man has been on. The Miracle Kid, he just continues to do it on the biggest stage that our sport has to offer. And he's going to be in the finals against his own crew member, Clef the God. Man, we are set up for a good one. 
I wonder what's going through Clef's mind right now. These are two guys who have labbed incessantly coming into this tournament. These are two guys who know each other's game plan as well as anyone, and they're going to be facing off for 1,500 MCS points and for a coveted MCS belt. One of these guys is going to be a first-time champion, but let's not discount the job that Ice did coming into this tournament, taking down some of the best players in the world. And we talk about those, those seminal moments, TD, those <laughs> moments where you go from somebody who is uh, maybe on that B tier to elevate yourself a tier in the game of Madden. Being able to make a final four in a major, that is one of those moments. No doubt about it. And you got a feel for Ice because he really played good in this game. Like, it wasn't anything he really did. John Beach just did a little bit more excellent performance, though, from Ice. I mean, what a run making it to the Final Four. He's going to have tons of points here in the MCS standings and really have a good shot to make that last event. I'm sure we'll see way more of Ice, but you, you can't hang your head if you're Ice. I mean, this was a great performance. He played well in this game also, but John B. just did a little bit too much. The kid, he just comes up clutch when he needs it. John B. said he was fueled by the people on Twitter saying he had no chance. Oh. He was fueled by the guys in Discord picking everybody against him. And John Beast is now one win away from becoming John Belt.